Hey guys, welcome to part 6 of my Karma Let's Play series. We are right where we left off last part. We just battled through Woodlow Forest. So let's see where we're going now. West, Woodlow Forest. North, Foggy Swamp. And East, Boomer Island. Okay. Can we, can we get that? Hey, you there. You're Shino, right? The captain thought you might go this way instead. Rigo requested us to take you to Donor Island. The captain and his boat are at the beach. Oh, so I guess we can't go that way yet? Okay. So let's head this way then. So we're going to Donor Island. I guess that's the captain, but let me speak to this guy first. George, yesterday I almost caught a nibble, nibble gar, but it bit my fishing rod in half. Okay. Captain Derek. Ahoy there, I'm Captain Derek, the ferryman of Donor Island. I was told by Rigel to take a trainer to the island. That must be you. Do you see that beauty over there? It's <laughs> the ship? Okay. Just look at her, glistening in the sun. She'll take us across the waves. We'll be at Donor Island before you know it. Are you ready to set sail? Anchor the way. Alright, I hope you don't get seasick. Change of weather over here. Here we are. All safe and sound thanks to my wonderful ship. Okay, Captain. He's really lovely his ship. Hmm. What's this? I don't recognize that ship. But I do know that flag. That's the symbol of Umbra Noctis. Them being here can't be good. So I guess those are the bad guys. You better hurry to Nicola and Thomas. They operate the Buzzlet lab in the center of the island, so you can probably find them there. Oh, and in case you want a ride back, just let me know. I'll be right here. Okay. Is this something? Okay. Okay. I'm on guard duty, so you better stay away from our ship. Okay. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Nicola is ahead of the... Oh. <laughs> Nicola is the head of the buzzer alarm. He's probably there. But you've, you'd have to check to be sure. Okay. I don't think I want to buy anything yet. I'm going to just heal. Gonna heal. Welcome to the trainer hub. Would you like us to take care of your Pokemon? Yes. Oh wait, what is this? Five hundred gold, that's good. What's in here? Oh hello there. You must have come here to try out my latest invention. The trait for Mator. The trait for Mator. What does what does it do? Let me ask you this. Have you ever captured a Corman without a trait? That's some bad luck right there. Worry no more. That's why. That's where my trait. <laughs> that's where my trait for Mator comes in. It takes your Corman 
and gives it a trait. Oh, that's useful. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, that's useful for sure. But what if my Kerman already has a trait? Yes, I've thought of that as well. In case my trait for Mato, trait for Mato will change the trait of the Kerman. Oh my god. So in short, your karma will either get a trait if it has none, or it will get a new one. Okay, just let me know when you want to try it out. I don't know if I want to try it out right now yet. Let me just see. What's this? Uh, another admirer, admirer of my potent, potent inflator. Oh my god, what is with these names? Your what? The potent inflator. You look confused. Let me explain why I've designed the potent inflator. When I was still a young trainer, I once caught a Kerman with a potent potential. It was almost perfect. So I thought, what if I could increase a Kerman's potential? That's why I dedicated my life to build the potent inflator. And if you say with pride, it works. The potent inflator makes all karma perfect. Oh no, I'm afraid that's not possible. It can only slightly increase a karma's potential. To be exact, the potent inflator will increase a karma's potential value by one. But if you're lucky, the potent inflator could increase the potential value more than that. Just let me know where you want to give the potent fatal a spin. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna do anything right now with those. So I'm gonna just head back down. I I kind of want to work on training up my other hormones. So I think I'm gonna do that right now off camera and then I'll be right back. I don't wanna bore you guys with my back and forth back and forth so I'm just gonna do that and resume when I get back two hours later alright guys I'm back that took forever I was trying to level them up to at least 10 but this is how the squad is looking now. Also, guys, something happened. Blaze evolved. He evolved. I did not mean for that to happen. But if I can, I will insert a picture right here. Okay? So yeah, so Blaze evolved. This is how he's looking now. And this is the rest of the squad. Patterbit at 11. I'm just gonna run through them and see who got new skills. Say their pin. Buzz wet. Frozen. And Mofa.
Okay, so that's the squad, guys. That's their level right now. Again, didn't mean for him to evolve, but it is what it is. Let's get a move on. So we sh we should be looking for Nicola. Let's. Let's look over here. Umbra, Umbra Noctis, Noctis, Noctis <laughs> doesn't scare me. I can see right through them. Okay. Buzzet Lab. I believe this is where we're supposed to be headed. I'm glad I'm indoors. I don't like raindrops colliding with me. I can always see the positive side of things. Even when Umbra Noctis around. Even, even with Umbra Noctis around, we can still supply Velva with battery packs for now. Even with Umbra Noctis here, we still abide by rules by the rules. You'll need a lab coat before entering the lab. Okay well let's put on our lab coats lab coat here. Probably put on the glasses too. Alright, let's go. The hair. Oh, I thought you were one of the Umber Noctis grunts. They're everywhere at the docks in the Thunderous Cave. Soon they'll be here as well. We're not safe here. Calm down for a moment. Can you tell me what's going on? Yes, you're right. Breathing. Okay. <laughs> My dear partner and colleague, Thomas, I can't reach him anymore. He went into Thunder's cave to find potent bu buzzlet, a type of Kerman we need to keep up with the energy demand of Belva. But now that Umbra Noctis has shown up, I'm so worried. Don't worry, I can help. If you could get Thomas back here safely, that would mean the world to me. But be careful when you head into Thunderous Cave. It gets very dark when you go deeper inside. I have a hem with integrated light, which will help you get around down there. Please take it. Be quick and good luck. Okay, let me just look around for a bit. Is this is this where the cave is? What is this? All right, let's head. Let me just check. Okay. I guess we could take off the lab coat back. Mm -hmm. 
some the glasses. Wait, let me see what we have. We should probably stock up on some items too. So let's go to the shop first. HP cake. How much is that for? I already have four of these. Buy one, buy one, buy, should I buy? I'm kind of really low. I'm just gonna buy that. Just looking around. Okay, let's head. It didn't take long for Donut Island to o to be overrun by Umber Noctis. I need to rethink our def defense module. Hacking? No, I'm doing penetration tests on Paterbit for Lux Solace. Oh, I see you have a Paterbit? You know, I think I managed to circumvent the security of the official Peterbyte kernel. This would allow me to install a Peterbyte kernel on your Paterbit. Would you like your Paterbit to try it out? Mm, I, I don't even know what we're talking about right now. Sure, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, give me your pattern bit and I'll install my pyro um my completely legal kernel. <laughs> Are we sure about this? I mean I wanna see what it is, so I guess so. Oh, Paterbit is evolving. Okay, at least we caught this on camera. Okay. Paterbit evolved into Pitcherbite. Oh. Okay, okay. There you go. Let me know if everything works as expected. Okay, thanks, Julian. I 
hope this invasion will pass soon. It worries me, even though it's happening for a brief moment in time. Iruka, this item will surely help me. Here, take one. Attack cake. Okay. Okay. So the cave must be over this side. Let me get that combi cake. See if anything over here. No, okay. Is this where the camp is? Let me just check. Okay, let me see what she says. This cave, this cave has been annexed by Umber Noctis. You can't go in. I'm going in anyway. Okay. Set that in. Go. Rain started pouring down. Ooh. Okay. Okay, come on. And so my match has ended. <laughs> I watch. I'm warning the others that we have some Lux Solis trainer interfering with our plan. You'll never stop us. Okay. I'm wondering if we should see what's over here. Just check it out. The deep blue. I've always dreamed of sailing beyond the horizon instead of working in the lab. Anchors away. Three sheets in the wind. <laughs> Maybe one day. 
Okay, Joe. Meds in life. Can we walk here? So I guess we probably would have to fight and go up. But then again, we have to go in the cave. So I'm not sure what we should do first. But I'm going to go and heal Blaze. Oh my god, you should ask the person responsible to uninstall the software as soon as possible. Come back whenever you or your karma are hurt or tired. Shine bright. I was not paying attention. I kind of just skipped through that. I am not even sure what he said. Did he heal them? He did not heal Peter Bite. Okay. Okay. So I guess we should get that removed if they can. Let's go <laughs> see. Hey, you broke my pitter bite. Oh, that's not good at all. Let me have a quick look. You know, you're right. My kernel is bugged. I ha I'll have to uninstall the kernel so that I can review the logs and improve my code. This should also remove the bug. Please do. Oh, Pitterbat is evolving. So, going back to our platter bit. Okay. There you go. Another ticket closed. Until my own software is stable, I'll just return to selling the official, officially licensed Pitterbat kernels. Okay. Not right now, not right now. Okay, let's go get better bite. Better bit. Keep it. Okay, let's see first if we can head to the top of that, of this building. Let's just see. No one is allowed to enter the power tower during the official Umbra Noctis investigation. So... I guess we can't go up there yet. So I guess it's back to the cave. So we're in Thunder's cave. But guys, I think... 
I think this is where I'm going to end off today's part. I know we didn't really do much this episode, but I'm going to save going through this cave for the next part. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, guys.